Hi, Kevin here. For dinner tonight, we're fixing bacon and eggs, and I'm going to cook the bacon and eggs in these really chic looking toast cups. So let me show you what you need. Now, I will be making six bacon and egg toast cups in total, and three of the cups will be made with wheat bread and the other three will be made with gluten-free bread. And I know the wheat bread works out really well because I've made these cups about a hundred times in the past. We shall see how the gluten-free bread works out. So what you do is take the bread. I'm using Sara Lee Classic White Sandwich Bread. You want a soft wheat bread. It could be white or whole wheat. And then you want to roll out the bread with a rolling pin. The goal is to enlarge the bread and also thin it out. Like this. And then you take a four and a quarter or four and a half inch biscuit cutter and cut out rounds. Now, I don't have an actual cutter that size, so I'm just using this little custard cup, which measures four and a quarter inches in diameter. And I do need to roll this slice out a little more. Let's see how this works. Yeah, you want a soft bread. And then just twist the cutter over the bread to cut out a round, like this. Okay, and I'm going to finish, let's see, I have one, two, three, because I'm going to make three regular wheat toast cups, and you need one extra slice of bread, and I'll show you why in just a moment. Okay, I'm going to finish rolling these out, and I will come right back. All right, here are the discs of bread. And you definitely want to save the scraps. You can put these in a Ziploc bag and pop them in the freezer. And then when Thanksgiving rolls around, you can use these for stuffing. Okay, so now stack up the discs and then cut them in half. Okay. Let me fetch my muffin tin and I'll show you the next step. All right, here's my muffin tin. Now, these tins generally come in two sizes, uh, either with six openings or with 12 openings. And this is a 12 opening tin. And these are just standard size openings. And I have sprayed six of the openings with just regular old non-stick vegetable spray. And you want to space out the cups. So I sprayed two at the end here, and then this one in the middle, and then two more at the ends, and one in the middle over here. Okay, so now I'm going to, see I want to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to turn this this way. And then you take two halves of the bread and arrange them in the openings like this. There, I hope you can see that all right. And then let me show you. There's a little gap right here. And this is where that extra piece of bread comes in handy because you can take a little strip of bread and use it to fill in that gap and just mash it down like this. All right, and then I'm going to do these two other openings. Well, maybe I'll do one more for you. this, and this, 
this. Yeah, these make really elegant things to serve. Well, not just for dinner, but definitely for brunch. So maybe we're having brunch for dinner tonight. I'm taking another piece of bread to fill in the little gap. If you don't fill in the gap, then the egg can seep through. Need one more little piece over here. There, we're all sealed. Okay, I'm gonna do this other cup over here and then I'll show you what I'm going to try to do with the gluten-free bread. That's going to be interesting. All right, now the only reason I'm using any gluten-free bread is because Mr. Fox avoids gluten. And this is Udi's gluten-free whole grain sandwich bread. Now, unfortunately, gluten-free bread performs nothing, or I should say it behaves, nothing like gluten-full bread. So, that's, it's always smaller than regular wheat bread. So, this one, I mean, look at that. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to roll it out, but I'm going to try. Look, it's all sticking to the rolling pin. Oh, and of course it's falling apart. Okay, so this isn't going to work. Well, it, I'll roll them out a little bit. And I am determined to make this gluten-free bread work, either by hook or by crook. It's like really sticking to the rolling pin. Okay, so let's see how we can do this. Now, I know that the regular white sandwich bread, the wheat bread, always looks elegant for this dish. I'm not sure that the gluten-free bread is going to look very elegant, but we're going to try this. Okay. And it's already, look at this, it's just already falling apart. That's the problem with gluten-free bread. Uh, it doesn't have any elasticity. Gluten provides elasticity for, <laughs> oh boy, look at this. It's just really falling apart. Um, let me try it with one that I did not roll out. You know what? I'll try to do two halves. So I'm sure some of you are on a gluten-free diet. So maybe this will be helpful to you. Okay, well I'm going to go like this. Yeah, cutting it in half seems to help. Hmm. Well, we'll use, okay, so I took three pieces of the bread, and now this last one, I'm going to remove the crust and see if I can mash the other piece down. Yes! And then I'm going to mash the sides of the bread against the walls of the muffin opening. Okay. Now, so this video isn't terribly long and dull. I'm going to do the others off camera. We'll be right back. Okay, well, I managed somehow to form cups with the gluten-free bread. As you can see, the ones made with regular wheat flour are much prettier. But we'll see how it works with the gluten-free bread. Okay, next, you need six strips of bacon. And you need to cook the bacon 
just until it's uh, cooked but not crisp. It should be flexible and if you want to take the easy road as I did you can buy fully cooked bacon right at the supermarket. And then you take the bacon and arrange it like this right in the center and you will have the ends overhanging. That's exactly what you want. I hope you can see okay. And my oven has preheated to 300, 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And I just made a boo-boo, easy to correct. You need to brush the bread with melted butter. It's going to help the bread to toast beautifully in the oven. Yeah, these are nice and crispy. I made them three times last week. And I think they're just delicious. Obviously, I only made them with wheat bread. Okay, we'll give the gluten-free bread some butter. I wonder if an egg will even fit in these gluten-free semi-cups. Well, we will find out very shortly. Okay, now add the bacon. Yeah, that already cooked bacon is really convenient. And it's packaged in what are they called? Uh, vacuum sealed bags. They don't even require refrigeration until you've opened the bags. Okay, well that's in there. Now, you need six large eggs. Just crack an egg into each cup. And I will be making a spinach salad to accompany these cups. And I'm going to put some strawberries in the spinach salad. Of course. So you can see the white is running all out of that cup. Oh well. running out of this one too. All right, then we need some salt and pepper. Just a pinch of salt, and I'm using kosher salt. And pepper. Okay, then these go into the preheated 375 degree oven just until the whites are set. Now, I want the yolks to be soft for me and for Mr. Fox because we both like soft egg yolks. But if you like a firm egg yolk, you just cook them longer. So for a soft egg yolk, these will be done in about 15 minutes. Well, between 10 and 15 minutes. So keep an eye on things. And if you want a firm yolk, cook them for 15 to 20 minutes. All right, we'll be back when these get done and then I'm going to fix the salad while these are baking. All right, here are the bacon and egg toast cups straight out of the oven. I did have them baking at 375 for about 12 minutes. So the yolks are not hard, but they're not runny. And 
let me show you. To remove them, let's see I have a platter over here. To remove them, you just lift right out of the muffin opening. They're easy to remove because I sprayed the openings with that nonstick vegetable spray. So these are the muffin cups made with, not the muffin cups, the bacon and egg cups made with the regular wheat flour bread. Very beautiful. They have a nice design. Now, <laughs> the gluten-free cups, let's see. Okay, these are going to be a little tricky. Well, this one came out. Okay, here it is. Ah, it's hot. And I can already tell that where the wheat bread cups baked, the bottom is crispy. But the gluten-free cups are not crispy on the bottom. Oh, well. Okay, this one, the white ran over the side, so I'm going to have to use a knife. I'll be right back. All right, here's what the dinner looks like on the plate. This is Mr. Fox's serving with the gluten-free bacon and egg cups. Here's the spinach salad with strawberries. These are strawberries that I froze uh, and I lightly dressed the spinach greens with a blush red wine vinaigrette. And for Mr. Fox's dessert, he's having some homemade vanilla ice cream topped with almonds. Here's my plate with the regular wheat bread toast cups. Look, this is the design I was talking about over here. They're very pretty. And here's my salad. And for dessert, I'm having a slice of that awesome pumpkin bundt cake that I made the other day. And I just dusted it lightly with confectioner sugar. Now, if you're feeling civilized, you should probably eat these with a fork and a knife, but I'm not feeling particularly civilized right now, so I'm going to eat this out of hand. Hey, this could be dinner on the go. First, bacon. Hear the crunch? Mm, delicious. One bite from the toast cup. Mm, oh, yum. Mm. Look, here's the yolk. It's almost runny. Oh, it's cooked for just the right amount of time. This is indescribably delicious. You get the, the crunch of the bacon, the crunch of the toast cup, the soft egg in the middle. It's, it's really perfection. So I hope you'll give these bacon and egg toast cups a try someday. Again, they're not only wonderful for dinner, I hope I don't have egg all over my face. Hang on. I do not have a mirror in this kitchen. Um, yeah, please give this dinner, the bacon and egg toast cups dinner a try someday. Really easy to do. And again, the cups are really glamorous looking. You could serve them for a brunch party. Now, Mr. Fox, I wanted him to come downstairs to taste one of these, but he is watching a Red Sox game and he cannot be disturbed. So he will be eating his dinner in front of the TV and I'm probably going to eat my dinner out in the garden. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Do give these toast cups a try someday. All right, and I will see you very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.